What's happening, everybody? J Shock Blast here, and we are back doing some customs in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. And I, if you're like me, you saw a trailer this week for Deadpool 2, and I was pretty excited. And with that, we've made our first custom from Deadpool 2. It is Cable. This is Josh Brolin's version of Cable. And I absolutely love the way he looks in uh, Deadpool 2 so far. And as you can see, I think we've created quite the cable. The only thing that I really couldn't do is get his eye to light up. I don't know. I went up and down the customizer to see if there was a way we could do it. And I could not. So pretty straightforward um you know i originally thought i was going to end up using winter soldier's arm but i ended up using electro 2099 so let's go ahead and go through it all uh for hair i kind of went back and forth i ended up going with this one it's not perfect because it's it's not kind of shaved on the sides but it is a little bit more of a nod to the comic cable um there was also and that was not a good option this was another option that I think is probably better uh, to make to look like Josh Brolin, but I just, I ultimately liked this one the most. Uh, I feel like it looks the most like uh, a little bit more of a traditional cable and, you know, still the kind of the Josh Brolin look. Uh, for cable in the movie, it looks like they've got like a, the side shaved, like I said before. So that's what we went with there. For head, there's a couple ways you can go. I ended up going with hammer because he has a nice serious look, uh, a little bit chiseled, if you will. Uh, so, I mean, you can't really duplicate all the scarring. And like I said, there really isn't anything uh, as far as the eyes are concerned that really help out. Um, there were a couple that I considered. Obviously, we want darker uh, eyebrows. Uh, I think Maximus was one that I considered. Yeah, Maximus. But... I don't really think this is actually a good look for him. Uh, I think the eyebrows are just a little too bushy, and uh, just I don't I don't love the way it looks. Um, like I said, there were a few of them that you can kind of go with. Uh, what was another one that I had tried? Uh, nah, maybe Rawhide Kid. I mean that one could work. Um, there's one down here that I thought I tried. I mean, this one could be okay if you kind of think about it. Um, I don't like all the wrinkling, even though you could, I guess, pass it as scars. Uh, ultimately, I think Hammer was the best option for me. Um, Uranian was another one that I kind of considered, but he looks a little too happy. So we're sticking with Hammer. I think no matter which one of those you choose, uh, it's going to work out just fine. So, uh, now we can go back to hammer. Sorry. Ah. There we go. Yeah, I just like this one the most, so that's what I went with. Uh, obviously, with Ego being added, the attachment for his uh, little, I don't know what you want to call that, like a little sash thing. Uh, there's the scene where he's running around uh, with a gun and he like jumps up over a car. Uh, that's what I had in mind as far as this look. Um, there really isn't like a whole heck of a lot other stuff that would really work. But this works out perfect. So I like that a lot. Then obviously we went with a black cape. And the cool thing is you can have one that kind of goes over one of the shoulders. It's not a perfect look, but it's pretty close. Um, now as far as the body is concerned, I went with Winter Soldier's body. There isn't anything that's perfect. But I like the fact that it has the little ammo pouches. And it has the little uh, the gun holster. The shirt that he's wearing in the the actual trailer is more of like a an olive green, almost like a military type shirt, but it's short sleeved. And I, I did that with his, I guess, is his right arm. Uh, his right arm, I gave him like a short sleeve black, and he has uh, fingers cut off on his gloves, but I gave him black gloves essentially for each hand. And then, like I said, for his left arm, I actually went with, instead of Winter Soldier, I actually went with um, Electro 2099. 
I thought that the way that they made it look, how he's got like the kind of wires in his arms and everything, uh, was really just a, a perfect arm for him. So Electro 2099 is what I went with as far as his arm is concerned. Uh, his hips, because his hips, uh, or because the Winter Soldier chest piece has the the belt buckle and everything, I didn't want to give him a belt buckle on the hips. So I ended up going, going with War Machine, so it looks like it's almost a continuation of, you know, the, the suit that he's wearing. And then for legs, I actually went with... Who did I go with? Uh, somebody pretty far down. Um, the reason why I went with these, I want to say it was Wong. Maybe it wasn't. I might have gone by it. Doesn't it have like a green check mark next to what you used? Well, anyway, the reason why I chose the one that I did is because it, it has uh, the brown boots, which I thought was pretty important. And it also has, uh, you know, the black kind of pants. It, it's almost like, almost identical to what he's wearing. There were a couple other options I considered. Uh, where is this? I don't know why it like reset it on me. Um, shoot, who is it? I apologize for the delay. I had considered like Hawkeye and a couple others, but why it didn't, I don't know why it didn't like start with what I was wearing. And I don't know why it's not like, I don't know why there's not like a green check mark. Cause doesn't it like show you what you selected? Uh, Wonder Man, Winter Soldier. No, it's definitely not Wong. I don't know why I can't find it. This is really bothering me. And of course, it's slowing down the video, which pisses me off. Sorry. I've probably gone by it like eight times, but... Ah, there it is. Ego. Huh. I went with Ego's pants. Yeah, see, now it's got the line. That's weird. Um, I really liked Ego's pants for it. I just feel like the, the brown boots. He was very, very clearly wearing brown boots, so I felt like that worked out really well uh, in making him. Obviously, we gave him the only kind of blaster rifle that there was. Uh, everything else is more of a handgun. I uh, wish there was a way to get him to grip it with uh, two hands. I made it kind of the grayish color uh, because the black is too black as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's just not really a good look. Um, and that is pretty much that. As far as his abilities, you know, obviously he's got, you know, when you tap it, it bolts. And when you hold it, it actually just shoots a beam. Um, for B, I didn't do anything for hold, but for tap, it does quick teleport. Because obviously he's a teleporter. And I did give him double jump. As far as his passive traits, I mean, these things aren't really that big of a deal. But for health, I gave him, like, silver health box. Um, and stuff like that. So abilities for passive abilities, grapple, uh, techno access. Uh, I, you know, I should actually give him crack Lego walls, fix it, uh, time manipulation, rune tracing, dig, teleport, tracking, portal create, all those types of things. I feel like he does a lot of that. So let's get him out of here. I gave him kind of like a blue laser beam. There he is, Cable. The Josh Brolin edition. What do you mean somebody already got it? Aw, oh, man. 
I like the fact that he's very futuristic. Uh, so I'm going to take him to my favorite place. Nueva York. And there you have him. Oh, it would be so amazing if they, like, did season pass number two. And they did something for the Deadpool movie. I know it's, like, a 0% chance of that happening, but a guy can dream, right? So. I think it's a really good look. I think uh, I'm really excited for Deadpool 2, obviously, being a massive Deadpool fan that I am. And... Yeah. Let's actually see what his card says. Uh, view character card. So there you have Cable. And shortly after graduation, this rookie reporter began an exciting career at the Daily Bugle, quickly becoming J. Jonah Jameson's new protege. However, while reporting deep undercover, a chance encounter with a strange piece of AIM technology resulted in the jinxed journalist becoming imbued with superpowers to become Cable. <laughs> uh, it's always funny to do that. So, What do you guys think of Deadpool 2 so far? I mean, I think we've pretty much identified a lot of the characters uh, that were in the trailer. Um, I think it's awesome that... Um, Terry Crews is in the movie. Even if he's like a character that's not like as well known. Uh, Shatterstar being in it. I noticed that right away. Um, I think... I saw somebody earlier post something that had speculation on who the the kind of... The character with the kind of mask over their face was. And obviously we had Domino. So... Oh, and I was very embarrassed... That I, I called Zazzy Beats uh, Janelle Monae. I, I figured out what made me think that. Um, Boss Logic, if you follow him on Twitter, he was doing a lot of like fan art type stuff um, before like Deadpool 2 was casting was done. And I think he he like kind of fan casted Janelle Monae as um, <laughs> as Domino. So. So that's where my logic came into play. So that is how you can make yourself an awesome looking cable, the Josh Brolin edition. Um, another cool Easter egg uh, considering Josh Brolin. Uh, there's a scene where Deadpool, or I mean, he's there without his costume on and he's actually wearing the same shirt that Chunk was wearing in the Goonies. So it's a cool little Easter egg when he's uh, sitting on the, the couch with Blind Al. So uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I think you already saw a teaser of who the next custom character I'm going to show is. Um, so been playing that future fight a little too much and gave me the inspiration. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you.